Hey Leos, how are you guys doing? I hope you're well. Now, for those of you who don't know, my name is Jana Speaks, and in this video, I am going to do your love reading for the month of March 2019. Now, to start off by letting you know that all of my readings are general, so they may or may not resonate with you. So if you find that this reading does not resonate with you, then you're going to want to go ahead and book a private reading with me. All of the information to do that will be in the description below. All right, so I'm going to start off by asking what important message your spirit guides want you to hear. I'm also going to ask what the overall energy is. I'm going to ask um, how this person feels about you. And then I'm going to ask the likely outcome between you and them, okay? So let's get started. So what important messages do Leos need to know this month? Okay, so the important message you need to know is we have the Eight of Swords reverse here. So you guys may be um, in your recent past with like feeling, you know, stuck, trapped, um, kind of like you're in prison, feeling bond up, you know, not knowing how to get out of this situation. Um, some of you may even be dealing with someone who just got out of prison, but um with well, A of Swords of Versus lets me know that you guys are releasing something. You know, you're coming out of that space of feeling trapped or your spirit guides are saying you need to release this whole entire thing. You're not trapped. Get out of your head. Get out of that mentality. You are not stuck. Okay, so let's get into the overall energy. So what is the overall energy for Leo's March 2019? So right off the bat, guys, yeah, I see you guys going through a whole freaking lot. Hmm. I feel like a lot of you are waiting for this person to reach out. You're waiting for them to contact you. You're waiting for them to show you. Let me show you the cards a little bit better. Okay, yeah. You guys are waiting for them to show you some any type of emotion, anything. You're just like kind of waiting, okay? And um, I feel like with the King of Swords of Verse, it's like, I feel like this person criticizes you a lot. I feel like, yeah, they're like super critical of you. They they don't show much emotion at all it's like you're waiting for them to show you that and they just they're just not that type of person i feel like a lot of you are not making head over heart decisions though it's like you know that this person isn't offering you their cup of love this person isn't offering you any emotions you know that this person just really isn't offering you anything but it's like you're still struggling <laughs> to make a head over heart decision. It's like your heart is totally in this, okay? And then we do have the empress here. So I feel like some of you may be pregnant by this person. If you're not pregnant by this person, be very careful because you may get pregnant this month, okay? So just keep that in mind. Like, don't be surprised, you know, you take a pregnancy that's when you find out you're pregnant. But um, for those of you who aren't pregnant, it's like your spirit out the same, like, why are you tolerating this? you're beautiful you're a goddess you know you give life to anything that you touch you're full of abundance you know you're you're you have this presence this radiance about you you know it's like almost like your spirit guide is saying you have your whole entire life ahead of you so why are you putting up with this and then we have the knight of chalice is reversed now the knight of chalice is reversed lets me know like this person is pretty much 
the type of person that says whatever they have to say to get whatever they want. Okay, um, their emotions are not involved. They're cold. Um, yeah, they're heart, they're heartless. Like anything that they do is for their own motives. It's like you expecting them to give you any type of love and affection, you are wasting your time because this person is cold. Okay, they probably don't even love their own mama. All right. Whew, Lord, I don't like their energy at all. It's like their energy makes it hard for me to talk. But we also have the five pentacles here. So I feel like not only is this person not offering you their emotions, you know, saying whatever they got to say to get what they want. But the five of pentacles is like you feel left out in the cold by this person. This person could be deciding to leave you out in the cold because we also do have the higher from reverse here. So with the higher from reverse, that lets me know like, this is not going to go to a higher commitment. This person isn't a traditional type of person, you know? Okay. So I just want to see how they feel about you, though. So how does this person feel about the Leo? How does this person feel about the Leo? Okay, so it's very interesting though, Leos. Um, I feel like this person's conflicted, okay? And I feel like they're conflicted because we have the Eight of Pentacles here and we have the Four of Pentacles reverse. So remember I said this person isn't traditional, okay? They're not, right? But the fact that they're not traditional, it really comes from a place of self-protection. It's like they were afraid to invest in this because they wanted to protect their heart. Remember I told about them being kind of cold, like closed off or whatever? I feel like they've gone through something that made them operate from self-protection, right? But I'm seeing with the Eight of Pentacles here that they're considering putting in the work necessary to grow with you okay and it's like they're letting go of this whole like i have to protect myself not really give to this situation that's what they're telling themselves right because i see with the five of swords of verse it's like they want the conflict to end i feel like they do recognize that you feel defeated by them they do recognize that Sometimes you feel like they want up you. Okay. Um, I'm also seeing here that. I feel like there was some sort of truth. That needed to like. Be said. Almost like or it could have been like them trying to seek the truth within you. I feel like they kind of like really went hard to investigate some sort of truth from you. So I feel like there may have been like a conversation that you guys may have had. And you may have expressed to them how you felt. And that's what made them come to this realization. It was some sort of truth that was like revealed that kind of made them like realize what they're doing. But... With the chariot reverse, I feel like the reason why they're considering putting in the work for this is because they somewhat feel forced to do it. It's like your spirit guys are saying, like, you're forcing this to move forward. Almost like you need to pump the brakes a bit and stop trying to force it to move forward. Or it could be them saying to themselves, well... You know, they trying to force me to do blah, blah, blah. And they need to, you know, respect the fact that I want to, like, pump the brakes and take it slow. So it could be two, two different things here. But we do have death reverse. So it's like, I feel like this person, it's like they're conflicted. You know what I mean? Um, With death reverse, that lets me know, like, there's a transformation that they need to go through. Like, they need to change their way of thinking. Like, get out of this whole, like, self-protection mode thing that they're in. 
But with death reverse, it's like they're afraid to transform. You know what I mean? It's like they need to have like a new beginning, you know, out with the old and with the new. Embrace like a new way of going about things so that this can actually be something solid. I also feel like for some of you with the death reverse, it's like they're only willing to put in the work because they don't want to fully end this with you. But I don't like the fact that I have this card yet because it's like the energy of forcing something to charge forward when it really shouldn't. It's the energy of like needing to pump the brakes and kind of slow it down. Okay, so I just want to see um, what the outcome will be. So what's the outcome going to be three to six months from now between them? I don't really see things moving to a better um, place between you and this person. And I feel like it's because the passion between you guys is like fizzling out. It's dying down. I feel like there's a lot of past resentment from the, you know, like I said past resentment. Yeah, that's what I'm going to say. There's a lot of um, resentment from the past. I feel like this person makes you operate from a low frequency. Like, they don't make you feel good about yourself. Um, they may even tell you, like, oh, you're being jealous. You're being possessive. You're doing this. You're doing that. And it's like, yeah, because look what you're doing. And I feel like you're constantly always wanting equal give and take with them. But they just, they just can't do it. You know? And it's just going to leave you feeling anxious and having a lot of anxiety, a lot of sleepless nights. It's like, like I said, this person is conflicted. It's like they have this awakening that they need to change. But with that death reverse, it's like they don't fully embrace a change. Like they just, they need to grow up. Yeah, we have the Knight of Pentacles reverse. It's like this person is a commitment phobe. The whole situation between you and this person is very routine, very dull, very stale, very predictable, you know? They're commitment folks. And that's what commitment folks do, you know? Once they see that you're ready to walk out that door, it's like they all of a sudden, oh, no, 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 let's work, let's, let's work it out. And then they revert right back to their old habits because it's not what they truly want. You know, they want to have their cake and eat it too. Alright guys, so I'm going to end this reading here. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.